Hey guys, it's Sunday! Yay! It is 8.30 on a Sunday morning. Why am I up this early? It's because today I'm going to the Tokyo Game Show with uh, my friends. Yes, the Tokyo Game Show. Um, I'm super excited. I've never been before. Um, and it's actually not in Tokyo, it's in Chiba, but they call it the Tokyo Game Show. So it's kind of far away, so that's why I'm up early to get an early start. Anyway, Ryan, you asked, what is our stance on don't ask, don't tell? Um, yeah, I think everyone pretty much agrees don't ask, don't tell is horrible and hypocritical and uh, awful. And that's really all that needs to be said about it. Ben, you asked, what is our opinion on the video, the video of the, the, the gay knockout where I, I guess the one fighter was trying to suck the other guy out by kissing him and the other guy freaked out and, and knocked him out in one hit. Um, so some of you guys have been saying, yeah, if someone kissed me, I'd knock him out too. And I see what you guys are saying, but I think this is a little different because, okay, the, the problem that I have with that reaction, uh, with the guy like knocking him out and being like, homo, uh, is that that supports, it kind of supports the, um, the homo panic defense. Are you guys familiar with this term? Um, this is, Something that people actually have used in court to defend gay bashing. Well, like, oh, like, the guy hit on me. Well, I, I freaked out because he's gay, and I beat him half to death. So I'm not really guilty. Um, this is something that pops up a lot. And actions like what this fighter has just done um, only le lends more credence to that, um, that flimsy excuse. And so that's why I don't like it. Of course, the one guy was out of line because... One, okay, whether or not he's actually gay, he was using that gay angle to try to psych the other guy out as a negative, and then the guy totally overreacted and, and, and just punched him out and used that gay homo panic defense. Point is, the video is a, an example of the like rampant homophobia uh, still going on today in uh, the sporting world, which I think is unfortunate because we have guys like... Ben, who are gay, who still love the mixed martial arts, but we still have this kind of homophobia going on, which is just unfortunate. Um, Becky, if you were famous, what would be your biggest concern? Okay, um, I don't think I would get into drugs. I don't think I would get arrested. So I think I would have to definitely go with sex tape, because, I mean, you know, I'm... who isn't, like, curious? just to like see what they look like. I'm sure some night when my judgment was impaired, I would tape something and, you know, if it gets taped, if it gets recorded, it's gonna get out. It might happen, you know, five years down the road, but it's gonna come out. So I think mine would definitely be a sex tape scandal. Okay, so now my question, this is actually from user Art Machine 2008 uh, He wanted me to ask, do you think that two bottoms or two tops in a relationship can last long term? I guess in the lesbian world, do you guys have like tops and bottoms? I guess you guys have like butch lesbians and lipstick lesbians. Do you think like two butch lesbians can go together and two lipstick lesbians can go together? And in the case of gay males, do you think two tops and two bottoms can go together? Let me know what you think and subscribers. Want me to ask a question? Leave it in the comments. I will ask yours, maybe. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have got to go, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! Uh